Welcome to Imperium Galactic Survival, and here we are, guys. We are on my capital vessel. It's nice and dark outside, but that's not important because in this part, we're going to be going up into space. But there's a couple of things I want to show you before I actually start that. If we just go down to here and just come out the back, I've loaded my small vessel and hovercraft, and I actually had to take the harvester off the hovercraft so that the actual docking pad would work and so that's something to remember guys when you design small ships especially if you're going to put them into a capital vessel that you need the docking pad and it's got to be able to be flat on the deck to be classified as docked and the other thing I also want to go up here I'm just going to go out oops I need to put the jet back on because I've just started the game and you can see here I've added a couple of extra cannons on the roof here and I've also put a couple on the front here now these aren't really meant for space combat these are really as a as a defense on the planetary that one's out of position actually that's not very good okay let me just sorry I gotta move that guy that will annoy the heck out of me so I'm just gonna have to About the right position, is it? Sometimes it could be a little bit down, but that's about it, I think. Right, that'll be on that corner there. Right, that's it. So, as I say, I've got two cannons here. The idea is that these will be the the initial defence ones when we're actually travelling the base. Of course, what I've done now, probably because I've taken this out. Where is the cannon? On. It's got to be in here somewhere. Well, where are you? There we are, Karen Turn. Want to add that to back into the group that I created called Turrets. And of course, the other thing that means now is that uh, so this would be uh, top left because you name them looking forward so I've, I mean I've named the turrets simply so that in the unlikely event that I actually want to jump into one of these I can actually pin tell which one I want to use I must I have to confess guys I'm not a big fan of using the turrets to fire at things unless it's a fairly static target it can be quite a disorientating experience so I'm just gonna Oops, come on. Wait. Go down. And the other thing I have done, and I actually did the recording for this, guys, and to be honest, it was terrible. I actually went to the moon and I ah, can't remember where that where I've stored it now. Yeah, I actually went up onto the moon and mined the or gathered the pentaxic here, which I've now refined in order to be able to fuel the ship for law and it was a pretty terrible video to be honest guys it wasn't particularly that interesting me running around and it was if you look out here this is this is an example of what you'd have been watching about 25 minutes of me walking around in semi-darkness with an occasional little pool of light collecting pentaxic the other thing i've also done is because obviously we are going to be going out into space so what i've also done is been gathering extra oh, no, yeah i've been gathering extra resources and if i can find the advanced constructor for copper especially promethium so that i've guaranteed to have a power supply as well because obviously when you're going out into space water oxygen power these are all key elements that you you do need to have available. So switch the thrusters on. And we're just going to start climbing up into space. And I'll just talk while we're climbing up into space in the dark. It's not particularly that interesting. Yeah, so when you're actually going to go out into space, especially if you're going to do what I'm kind of half thinking about doing, which is being a bit of a nomad. I'm not going to go to another planet and settle down. 
this is going to be my mobile base from now on and so you need to make sure that when you go out into space that you you carry enough supplies especially the basics because there's nothing worse than being out in, this, in space trying to jump between planets and then you run out of the, a key resource like especially oxygen or power because it can be very very difficult in space to actually do so here we are guys we're now up in space and if we get into third person see so we get a nice view I do like the space atmospherics in this game and I, I, so I was considering going, well, I, I did go to the moon in the previous part. And I think what we're going to do, guys, is I can't actually remember. <laughs> Let's go to the sector map. And what we got here, we've got Omicron, uh, Assetus, and Zavines. I think Zavines is a desert planet. Oh, Omicron's a desert planet, so I don't really want to go to another desert planet. And Osteus... I think that's how you pronounce it, is actually a lava planet, but we'll, we'll go have a quick look at that on the way through and then we'll see what's off on the branch from that direction, guys, so, and, so, where is the, ah, can we go through a planet? I've never done it this way, okay, let's, let's get up a bit of speed, will it let us go through it, or will I have to fly around the planet? Has it jumped? Yes, it has. Wow. It's the first time I've ever done that, guys. Just so any of you guys are not familiar, I'm not going to land on this planet because I'm not really equipped. Because this is a lava planet. Actually, let's have a quick look. I can't remember the hotkey. But I, I do so little traveling in space. We've got trading posts. I certainly don't want to go to the asteroid belt. How far away is that? That's 25 AU. So we're just going to lock that target because I think we're going to go to the trading station. But I think what we will do is have a little bit of a, a look, see at this planet here. Just to shit give any of you guys who've never been out into space what traveling through space is. It's very, very slow, I have to admit. Traveling through space is a bit time consuming. So I'm, I'll probably cut the video here, guys, to so that we can actually show it to you. So I'll see you in a minute, guys, once I get a bit closer to the planet's surface. Hi, right, guys, welcome back. Here we are, we're entering the atmosphere of the planet. It's... You can see, this gives you an idea of what is down here. This is a very, very hostile environment, and I don't want to get too close to the surface, because with my luck, I will probably end up but this gives you an idea of what this planet's actually like and and maybe one day in the future uh, or maybe the next series we will actually do it and you can see here you can get Sathium here so just to show you guys we've got some Sathium all over there but invariably here that if you've got find Sathium there's normally something defending it So. And of course, it's incredibly hot here. So we got Sathium there, so we could quite literally go down and mine it. So it's about there, but you can see how hot the planet is. And I mean, of course, obviously, I can't really go out and do it, but anyway, that's just an example, guys. I'm not going to mine Sathium more. I mean, that's not the purpose of this video. But this gives you an idea of what, how hostile the planet could be. And to be honest, if you're going to come here, you really, really need to prepare for it. So we're just going to get back up into space, guys, and I think we'll go and visit the trading station. I mean, it'd be really fantastic, guys, once they, if they, these planets are larger, especially if they've got variable biomes. I mean, it'd be really great to be able to land on a planet that's got a volcanic area but you've got an area also where you can actually how can you say land and build so, so imagine like you, you've got a, a normal continent and a, a volcanic or, or continent there I mean that would be really cool guys right so let's lock this target and um, where is it if I hang on just just 
that's it. I must have pressed F6 by mistake again. So I'm just going to go here. So this is 25 astronomical units. Press key K. Oops. Oh, you've got to keep moving. Yep, I keep forgetting that. Right, and here we are. We're on the, the trading station, and the trading station tends to be buried in the middle of these asteroids, guys. And I think, wow, well, let's go and visit the trading station for, just for the fun of it, guys. So I need some food, so. Let's get. And again, it takes a little while to actually fly there, guys, so let's actually just check the fuel consumption. Yeah, you can see there, so I think we can fill that back up again. So we've only got 49 astronomical units left. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that, guys. Actually, let's just have a quick look what's in what the. So we can, we can go to Akua, we can go to Masperon. Can't remember what's on Masperon. And Oskuchon. I think that is a temperate planet that's got some fairly rare ores on there. That could be worth visiting. Anyway, guys, we're going to go and visit the trading station first. And again, I'm going to I'm going to cut the video here because obviously it's going to take me a little while to actually get there. Right, again, for any of you guys who are new to the game, we found a Sathium asteroid here, so we could stop here and actually mine the Sathium just to show you. And if I can, and what you can do is if you can get right underneath like this and just stabilize. Got. To Keep an eye on, whoops, wow. Okay. I'm just gonna jump out, guys. Get back to first person. And of course, I've got, I should got, should have my EVA suit here. Let me have to watch the rain. I'm not gonna do this for very long, guys, so. Oops, look. Should be stone mark. I mean, you can use a So we can actually do this a better do this to make sure that keep an eye on the radar and of course we need to keep well, very very you can see it's minus 200 degrees out here as well so we're gonna have to keep an eye on that because so we can't do this for very long obviously if you were planning to do this you'd get a proper mining turret on here which you can use but this is just an example guys of of how you can get safium uh, we get a little bit more just before we leave so just I think that's enough to be going on guys so we've, right, let's just get back into okay. of course although it's not strictly necessary we can come up here and just duck into the shower And that will get rid of any residual effects. There we are, reduces radiation. Just to show you there, we've got 117 Sathium oil there. So that's a way to gather Sathium. Let's get back into the ship. And I think I've completely lost the base, so the mining stations. Put a waypoint on it. Yeah, so it's 2.56 kilometers through the asteroid belt. Oh, there's oxygen down there as well, so. Oops. Okay. And you can see the asteroid starting to appear, so. Right, there's the, the base that's up down here. And what you need to do, whoops, a DZ is land on that platform. On the left hand side there. Oh. I mean, it's a big platform. It doesn't look very big when you first arrive, but it is fairly big. So we, uh, you, that ramp going up, so obviously we want to get as close to the ramp as possible. Maybe we'll just move forward a little bit. Make space for anyone else who wants to land. And we'll just turn the thrusters off for the moment. Oops. Wait. 
Okay, put the thrusters back on. According to this, it means we haven't landed completely. Okay, that's it. We are we are nailed. And we'll just let's get the jump out. Of course, we have to go out the rear entrance. And hopefully, we'll be able to get some some decent trade stuff here, guys. I mean, I've got a bit of cash to spend, so. Oops, come on. And um, let's just have a quick run round here. As I say, hopefully, I've, I've never been attacked whilst I'm actually in a trading station. It's almost like it's a neutral zone, but there's always a first time when it comes to, I think we, check construction repair dot two. I think we need to come down here. Where are you? Oh, there we are. Let's see what we can find here. Hey, hello guys, what we got here. Would it be nice to find some more pen some pen pentaxit here? Um ah, well we're certainly gonna take the magnesium powder because that is always very useful to have. I'm not too worried about the nitro cellulose, more plastic, yep, we'll take that as well. Because it's something that it's easy to manufacture, but unless you've got a big corn flow and you've been down on a cure or something like that, where you've got lots of corn, it can be a little bit there. So we've got a bit of pentaxide. Yes, we certainly want that. We don't need any promethium. Uh, I'm certainly going to take the rare ores as well while we're at it. Uh, gold, take nibium. Take some cobalt ingots as well. Cobalt is quite rare. Okay. So, so I think that's that's good enough. Don't need gold. Got some more magnesium powder there, so take that. Because that's a, a good. Okay, don't need medium armor. I, my, my tier two drill is actually getting a bit beat up so let's buy a replacement for that I'm just being lazy guys so and I suppose I've got to be a bit honest with you as well but I've already spoken to this guy haven't I yeah I'm gonna be honest guys I, I think these this series and even my Akua series will probably be coming to an end fairly soon because I've got a feeling that the Alpha 8.0 release isn't that far away and of course when that happens is that drops it will actually break the save games and and I know it might be a little while before it actually comes into the actual Alpha release but um, what I want to do is because I'm really really up to, yeah I really really want to try out these large planets so so once that comes into beta, I will be, hello, um, all fired up. I, I really, really want to to have, have a go at that as soon as it can, uh, it's available. And therefore, guys, when that actually happens, and we can actually, where can we teleport? The teleport is not active. Yeah, I shouldn't have thought it would be active. Because obviously we are out on a, an area where it's completely remote. Okay, guys, I think that's about it. So I think we can jump back in here. I think I've checked there. I mean, this is just literally a, a visit. Yeah, guys, so I'm really, really pumped about the idea of doing the Alpha Update 8 release. And when that comes in, the trouble now is actually finding that. I think this is it. Docks and construction. I think is this the, yeah, CV dock. Yeah, so... We will be moving on to that as soon as it becomes available in the beta. And what I'm kind of planning on doing, guys, is the when it's actually in beta, or so far is that way, 1.8. So if we have to keep an eye on that. Wait, come on. Yeah, once it comes into beta, I will 
be doing maybe a short exploratory si series on on it and then once it goes into alpha we're going to stop start a proper full length series and i do have some ideas for that series once it becomes available and it's based on something i've already said which is that now yeah, we've already got power so where i'm thinking of getting started building a capital vessel and then we are all right go on time to go yeah build a capital vessel and then we're going to be play a little bit of space pirates or space gypsies traveling with a the cv and i've got the back door open okay <laughs> and i think we're going to head straight for the planet yeah i mean th in some ways what i'm doing now is a bit of a precursor for that what that series would be is effectively starting on a planet it's, I'm not sure whether it would be a. Actually, just have a quick look here. So we got, uh, yeah. So we got the admin out out in space as well. I think it will probably be start on a planet, build up, build a capital vessel, and then we will, then, effectively get a really good capital vessel I mean probably this ship will be a basis from it but I'm really tempted I really want to build one from scratch in the next series and then that we will then use that capital vessel to go out and explore all the different planets travel as far as possible and try and get as far as possible before the next major update comes out and breaks the save games so that's my thought process guys if there's anything else you want to see feel free to you know drop a comment mention it you know what any other ideas you think that would be good for a series so we're just going to come in on here now this is i wouldn't say a friendly planet but it's friendly from an environmental point of view if i remember correctly i think i've only ever been here once and that was only in passing i think i did it okay let's come down what I do have to be a bit careful of is, well, we're in mist, is the fact that, oops, we're very close to the pole, so we need to get away from the pole. Yeah, there are some interesting bases on here, and I'm not going to be attacking them. Of course, you don't really want to attack bases with a, now that looks very much like the capital vessel there, is it? Yeah. I was certainly going to keep away from them. Somebody else. Oh. Wait, what are you firing at? Okay, I, th I think my. my oh, because I deleted by accident and I top left. Wait, you're not meant to be there. You're only meant to be firing at aliens, turrets, mounted weapons, thrusters, and thrusters. That's better. Behave yourself. Yeah, I think we're going to keep away from the... So there's a base over there. And... And those are probably hostiles. But we're, we'll try and get close enough to identify them. But we may get... It's a pretty thin deposit. Yeah, so we got... The mini, mini gun drone there. We should engage the mini gun. Right, that's an advanced spaceport. Ah. My cannons work really well there, but obviously we can't claim the. What's that there? Do we shoot down the drone there? Eight, 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 eight. Oh, we're too low. Okay, we got the water. Is that a drone there? Get higher, come on. Yeah, I think that's a drone we shot down there. It's actually gone now anyway, so. Right, so you probably find that I'm, I'm looking for a peaceful POI, but I don't know what that is. Let's just get around here, guys. Let's have a quick look. We got that advanced spaceport. There's something here. Okay, let's just fly round. 
I mean, there are some, there are definitely areas. You can see we've got Easter Room here. Right, this is we're near the top. So, right, that's the drone base. Right, get away, get away, get away, get away. I'm certainly not going to attack a drone base with this ship. So, let's just go exploring. I mean, one way to explore this this planet is to well, you can build a base. I mean, this is quite a nice planet to actually build a base on if you really want to settle down. But obviously, you're going to have to deal with the patrol vessel, and I think that was a patrol vessel base. Can't remember if that actually is a patrol vessel on here. Uh, so we've got Sarcosium deposit here. That could be quite cool. Um, we could stop off here and mine some Sarcosium. And we found some residences as well over there. Okay, let's let's just drop a. We got and um, we got the elemental space station there. Okay, let's just set a waypoint on the residences. We can always go and visit them. Some Easter room. Okay, wow. Now, one thing about Eastroom guys is they are often defended by drones and other bases. So, what was that? What was that there? Village. Yeah, we got villages, residents there. So you can almost guarantee that that Eastroom will have drones around it. But so we got some residences here. So I think we can drop down here. And of course, we're just gonna. Power off the thrusters. I want, and of course, you've got to leave everything else powered on, guys. Otherwise, you're gonna have a problem. And um, the ship's there's some drones coming in, but he may not. Well, there's a drone in the distance. I should be able to walk to it. And of course, technically, we don't need the suit on either. So, oh no, it's better. We should be. I don't think the wildlife is that hostile. It's very similar to Akua. Yeah. We found a civil HUD. Oops. I forgot to put my. Hello, guys. I'm just dropping in to say hello and steal your whatever you've got here because I'm a, I'm a traveling nomad. We should be able to get some fuel out of here. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I mean, this is all fairly basic resources, but it all helps, guys. So, got that there. I think this is just a utility station. Ah, uh, we can always. Ah, oh, we already got max oxygen anyway. So, okay. I mean, to be honest, the capital ship with those cannons on is should be quite capable of defending the ship here so we got uh, let's do yeah it should be quite capable of defending itself against the uh drones obviously if it gets attacked by a patrol vessel that's a different matter oops we got I missed those over there okay in fact i could probably leave the ship here if it doesn't get attacked and then we could probably use the small vessel to take the steel plates. I think they've definitely uh, nerfed the what you get from the inventory tables for the cargo boxes and that compared to what you used to get before. Okay. Oops. In here. And well, just take that. Click a waffle. And just, well, there's some certainly some drones over there. More bandages. Okay, we'll take that. Um, don't mind me, guys. I'm just passing them through, looting everything I can see. So, see how big the cap the capital vessel is, or even in relation to these bases. I mean, they're they're pretty awesome. So, right in you go. And we got a cookie. Hmm. 
more med kits, that's useful. Hello guys. Hello, and wait please. I'm a man on a mission. Some more stuff. Oh, that's... Did he miss that? Okay, here we are guys, so... And I think we can just jump off here. And go back to the capital vessel here. As you can see the drones over there. So, so if I'd probably show you on... You can see them hanging around there. So if I went up to mine that easter room these drones would come in there because they're hanging around the civil hub so we've got this little knot of area here maybe we'll check that out in the next part guys because i'm aware of the time and of course we got the local residents creatures here or natives what's that anything here okay, just gonna Shut the door. And of course, because the ship isn't level, we're gonna have some fun getting up here. Just put get rid of that. And what actually happens is that right, I think what we're gonna do guys just to round this part off. I'm just gonna power the thrusters back on. And so we oops get high enough so that you're not interfered by the buildings I think whoops eight 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 please ah oh, we got a village right next door there oh, that's cool uh, I think what we'll do is if we get up I think the elemental space race mission okay I always wanted an elemental space race mission and we got some iron well we always need iron I, I think there's a base here let me just check yeah we got that there okay iron iron there I'm sure there's something some cobalt that'd be great to mine that there we are. I think that's the what I'm looking for over there new point of interest advanced fortress and yeah that's hostile so I'm certainly not going to go messing with that I think that's what I'm looking for over there it's so this <laughs> okay. And that's it. Uh, well, let me just turn this off. Make sure I don't turn off everything. Don't wiggle the. I can't. To first person. I think what we sh can do is actually get out. So I think even though the drones might come back and we may even get the troop ship coming, but I think those cannons can defend the ship. Here we go. Ha! There we are. Sorry about that troop transport. Right, I'm just going to get over here and see if we can loot this stuff. Wow, well, yep, I'll take that. I should have deplaned my small vessel actually. There's a uh, what we call it, a raptor over there. But if we keep away from him, he might leave us alone. 
So we're just going to see if we can go and loop the transport before it actually disappears. And that's where I'm going to wind the video up, guys. I know I've said it once before, and I've got a terrible habit of this, but I can really get into this game sometimes. Well, all games, if I'm really enjoying playing a game, the time just flies by, and I think I think we're all guilty of it. Is it's uh, another ten minutes, another ten minutes, and the ten minutes becomes an hour, and you're still going, and you're still thinking of reasons why to actually do things. So yeah, wow, certainly take that. Yeah, I mean, as I say, I think we're all guilty of that. Maybe we can stab that mini gun drone before before it actually derezzes. Yeah, as I say, it's something that I've done many, many times. Yeah, here's another one coming in, so maybe we can. Hello, guys. I'm just passing through. Say hello. I'm friendly. Right, let's see if we can grab that. Come on, run, 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 run. So if we can get it, I don't want to exhaust myself completely. Ah, it's actually up on the base, okay. Okay, this time that. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. Take the, take the Gatling guns, never know when we might need them. Of course, I've clogged my entire ventry up, so there's no point me raiding this. So I'm just going to get back to the camper van, and that is definitely where I'm going to wind the video up. In fact, I, this is where I'm going to wind the video up, actually. Anyway, guys, because all I'm going to do is go back. Oh, come on. Yeah, this is where I'm actually going to wind the camper van up. The guns are already trained, ready for them. And of course, these, these I don't think these actually can operate on the planetary. I think these are space-borne. That's the reason why, another reason why I put the, the cannons on to provide the extra defence. Anyway, guys, this is where I'm going to leave the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.